then do something about it. <laughs> Tired of sitting on the back of the plane, do something about it. Amen. Man. Uh, tired of them raggedy cars and one room shack, then do something about it. Because everything you need is in you already. But you got to grow your mindset. You, you got to get stuff out so that other stuff can come in. Yes. Amen. The Bible says you cannot pour what? New wine and old wine skin. Not just wine. New wine. New wine. And the old. Wine, mm -hmm. But you can't pour new wine in old wine skin because it can't handle it. Can't handle it. Anything without money. Right. 
legally. I'll be there or there. But if I'm, if I'm bound by bills, I'm giving you examples of what I'm talking about. If I'm bound by people, if I'm bound by what I'm feeling like, then I miss. That's why I hate brain fall. Mm, right. it, being in brain fall, you can't. Uh, is it all right? We just teach. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, being in a brain fall, you, you can't focus. You, you, you in, it's like a whole, like being on a highway. We used to travel the highway all the time. And, and especially uh, coming from like Gary, Indiana. That fall coming down through the air was terrible. And Heaven. I used to get behind a big semi truck. And I would tail that, that semi truck all the way out of the fall. What are you saying? That dense fall, you can't see. You can't see anything. You, uh, ditch be over there, you can't even see the ditch. You can't even see. And so you can't veer to the left, you can't veer to the right because you're allowed to fall right on off. Right. Uh, brain fall does the same thing. Right. Right. It does the same thing. It, 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 you can't veer any kind of way, you can't see. So the best thing to do is follow guidance. Yeah. 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 Guidance. Yeah. Guidance. Light. Y'all missed it. Y'all missed it. Yeah. I, I, I was okay, God. I need a truck. I need one of them semi. Right, right. Of out of nowhere. Right. One would come. come. One would come. And he would get it. just seemed like he just knew I was telling him because he never tried to get away from me. He never tried to play no tricks. You just let me go ahead and follow me. Amen. That's guidance. That's leading you out of. And sometimes, sometimes, sometimes we're dealing. With oh, yes. Oh, yes. No, and we didn't pray. Thank you, God. Cried. And we didn't pray and cry. And we didn't pray and cry. But if I can just get somebody to give me this guidance, I will stop. I'm going to be here for the Lord. Amen. And God uh, didn't just find out you had a problem. Uh, it was no surprise to God uh, that things are going on. He already had a plan. Uh, from the foundation of the world, he had a plan. Look at somebody and tell them, God already had a plan. some guidance and that is one of the reasons for the messenger because he will give you a word that God has said that whatever that case was and when you can't hear he's listening for you so somewhere in that service you're going to hear yeah. your answer yeah. right yeah. or yeah. you get yeah. on the phone or yeah. you, you talk with him yeah. and you will get your answer because yeah. that's his job yeah. amen right. And that's why it's imperative that I spend time with God and that I follow what He gives because if not, I wouldn't be no further than you. It's my job to do research. It's my job to do the homework to keep us ahead of things. Yes. Amen. A lot of stuff you don't have to do because you're blessed to have someone that's yeah. doing it for yeah. you yeah. and to present it to you. We used to travel uh, to different ministries and go into these conferences and all this stuff. And uh, the last one we went to, I, I told the people that went with us, I said, y'all, y'all watch this. The word that you hear this week while we're here, watch it be the exact same word. And so sure enough, when the speaker got up and minister, begin to minister the same thing. Same word. Words. Same word. Exact same. And, wow. and God said, okay, it's time to stop. Wow. Uh, because you're on a level may not
not look like it on the outside, but your spiritual level on the inside is right there. So you don't have to spend all your money going to all these different places. You got it right here. Yes. And don't cost you anything. Yes. I uh, want to encourage you on this era right here to never question your faith. Never, never, somebody say never. Never. Question your faith. Just find out why it's not working for you rather than against you. What do you mean, Bishop? My faith can work. Yes. Faith is working all of the time. Rather for you or against you. Uh, out on the outside world in the scientific world, they call it the law of attraction. Right. But they actually got that from the church. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I have no problem with it because there's a lot of studies that I've done in it, and I found all of it to match up with my life. Amen. Amen. And I'm not ashamed to tell you that. You call me whatever you want to call me. You get a walk out. It's up to you. But, amen. I believe when when God is showing you things and you're open to things, He can use anything. Yeah. If God can use a mule. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm out of answer. Yeah. Yeah. Why can't He use anything else? Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Faith. Always work, rather for you or against you, is always working. Whatever you allow, God says, I will allow. Yes. Whatever you forbid, God says, I will forbid. So who's in charge here? I am. He's going to do it according to what you say, where your faith is. Amen. This is going to determine what's going to take place. Whatever you allow, God, God will allow. allow. Don't come tell me God is in control in your house in a mess. Right. Don't come Praise tell me God is in control in your life. Is in a mess. Yeah, God is in control. Well, I can't tell. <laughs> he was in control. I promise you, he yeah. did not. Because when I go through my Bible, See, this is one of the things that caused me to stop and freeze everything because that God is in control and, and I'm saved, sanctified, and I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. I didn't see no evidence. I, 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 I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't curse a bump. I couldn't, you don't hear me. I couldn't, I couldn't heal a toe, toe baby, pinky toe pain, nothing. Because the Lord, Jesus. And, but we had the Holy Ghost saved, and amen. We were constantly going to, to beg and this and going to the soup lines and, and all this stuff. That when I go in this Bible, I never saw uh, any of God's people go down those avenues. Only people that went down those avenues were people that had walked away. From faith in God and began to have faith in man. Uh, they took their situation, they put their faith in that situation and said that this is as far as we can go. This is the best we can do. Well, you left God out because if, if your faith was in God, I don't care what wall you're at, He's going to bring you through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he, he will never get you in a place and leave you there as though you're stuck. Right. And yeah, Brother David figured that out and he said, though I walk through valleys and shadows of death, I don't fear no evil. I don't care how dark this place oh, is. Right. I, I don't care what hole. I don't care what's going on. I don't care yeah. what come across that news. I don't care what people say. I don't care what's going on negatively. Though I'm walking through, 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 somebody say through, 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 this valley of shadow of death, it looks very bad. It looks like you're not going to get out. But I'm here to tell you, you are getting out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the valley of heaven. You are getting out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You are getting out. Oh, yeah. Yes, uh, if faith 
it works for anybody else, it will work for you. You, you must shift your consciousness. You're in charge of that. God, 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 God is not going to come and make you shift your consciousness. Amen. He, he's not going to shift you from poverty mindset to wealth mindset. That's your job. He's not going to shift you from sickness to healing. That's your job. Because he can only heal you if you're in the faith that you already healed. Yeah. Your body don't dictate to you whether you're healed or not. Your faith does. Yeah. Yeah. And if I feel the only way I'm going to get rid of something is running to the doctors and the hospitals and pumping myself with medicines and all of this stuff, then my faith is in man. Uh, but if I'm looking and realizing and understanding that my faith is elevating, I might start that way, but I don't stay that way. I refine myself elevating in my faith where I get to the place, I turn around and say, I don't believe I need this anymore. Oh, I've done on. what it took to yeah. what it took to get to this point. So now it's time for my faith to kick in because I've done the right things. Yeah. I, I, right. And I've never seen where God said I needed to have this in the first place. Because he says, I am the Lord thy God that yeah. healeth yeah. thee. Yeah. I am I am, 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 I in my faith and continue yes. to grow my faith, continue yes. to yes. grow my faith and, and continue to shift my dependency completely on God. I, I won't need these things anymore. Yes. I don't care if they say no huh. out there. That's not where my dependency wow. is. Yes. God, yes. Glory to God, my dependency is upon God. Yes. So since that's the case, I'm not concerned about their no and I won't get stuck. At their no, because there is a yes. I worked in multi-level marketing. Glory to God, they would always tell us in the pep, uh, pep rally session that we had every morning. And they would ask us how many sales we were doing today. And then they turned around and taught us. And they said, regardless, they said, you might get nine no's, but that tenth one is going to be your yes. So yeah. don't get discouraged because you got nine no's. Glory to God. You, that tenth one, that tenth one, so that, that tenth one. Yeah, that tenth one. Uh, that, mean, that means somewhere in here, no matter how it's working against you, there's a yes. Oh, look at your name and tell them there's a yes in your kitchen. There's a yes in your kitchen. There's a yes in your kitchen.
small. You that nobody. You the one that will never get up. You that one that will never go forward. You that one that will never advance. You're not smart enough. You don't know enough. Yeah, okay. If you just be that little mustard seed like that, you can say, I think somebody can like catch on to this. You can say to this mountain, move from here. You will tell it where to go with your little dumb self.
question your face. No, no question, no question, no, 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 I'm going to take you out, I'm going to take you, I'm going to take you a little bit deeper, can I do this? Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready for some more? Can you have it? Yes. Well, so it's, it's our job to take inventory of ourselves, why it's not working. And here's one simple way. God, what's going on here? Why is this not working? Yes. And listen for an answer. Yes, sir. Yeah, 2016, I remember you. <laughs> because that was me. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. And, and yeah. when I yeah. stopped yeah. after all yeah. that I was doing, I mean, exhausted credit cards, pulling yeah. money from here, pulling yeah. money from yeah. there, and everything going yeah. bad, bad, and I'm sitting here, nobody know what was going on. I'm sitting here, I'm about to be embarrassed, the whole church about to go down, uh -huh. people going to be looking at me uh -huh. funny and crazy, and all this other stuff while people were shouting and dancing and, and receiving all the word. I'm sitting here. Going through it, going through it. So I stopped and I said, God, what's going on here? And he said, you walked away from your faith and Jesus. put your dependency upon what you had. Wow. And so I stepped back and I let you go ahead. I'm here to tell somebody sometimes it's as simple as that. Yeah. And we haven't been yeah. back there right. no more right. since. Right. Right. We right. have much advanced since yeah. Number two reason, you know, you can write this stuff down and go back and get the tape, but don't just let it go through deaf right. ears. Sometimes it seems as though your faith isn't producing, mm -hmm. but remember this. Jesus' faith went in the grave, but he knew it would resurrect greater. So if it seems your faith is in the grave, rest assured it's resurrecting something greater than what went in. I wish somebody would write that. Seems like, okay, I got it. Okay, Jesus turned around and said, three days, I will get up. I will lay there three days. That third day, I'm Come getting on. up. That third Come day, Lord, you got everything that seen that wasn't moving your way yes. down in the grave. Yeah. It get up. It did and up. it's going to be a great harvest. Look at your neighbor tell him, don't, 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 don't turn loose. Don't question your faith. Continue to walk by faith. And not by sight. Jesus rose up with all power in heaven and earth in his hand greater. Jesus rose up resurrecting all of us back to the Father God. Greater. Somebody say greater. Greater. So what are you saying? Your faith is growing to res is going to resurrect something greater than what went in the ground. The Bible says, the Bible says, except a seed goes in the ground and yeah. dies, it can't, it can't, it can't produce a harvest. Yes, yes. Don't question the seed you put out there. Ah. It's bringing a harvest. Yes, don't, don't question your faith because you pronounce that you're wealthy. Because God said, let the poor say, I am rich. Let the weak say, I am strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't, don't question your faith because it don't seem like it's working. Look at your neighbor and tell them it is working. It is working. And what it produces will be far greater than what we need. What we need. Yes. Psalm chapter 34, verse 8. Out of the living Bible, for I cried to him. That don't mean you got somewhere in there, boo hoo, boo hoo, because he's not hearing that. Right, right. Glory to God. Sometimes you got to shout. Sometimes Hallelujah. you got to stomp. Glory to yeah. God, you got to decree it. Yeah. Against yeah. What the yeah. devil is trying to say to you. That don't mean you get somewhere and start crying. Hey. Hey. That's not going to move God. Hey. Hey. You don't come to me that way. The Bible says in the book of Hebrew that you come boldly to yeah. the cross. Yeah. You got to go there confident. Yeah. You got to go already knowing what belongs to you. Right. You 
guys are already know I'm not supposed to be in this chair. You guys are already know this. Come on here, somebody. I'm not supposed to still be in this same place. In this same, oh, come on, this same old dumb hill. I'm not supposed to still be in Humpty Clumpty. Glory to God, a Humpty Dumpty falling off a wall. Glory to God and, 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 and having a great fall. Them days are over. Look at your neighbor and tell them them days are over. Them days are over. I cried to him. I declared I told somebody the other day, hallelujah, when I was having a tough moment and he was trying to get the best of me. I saw my feet in my house and I said, wait a minute, doggone it. This house is prosperous and it is successful. And I rebuke every hindrance that come against me. And I went on about my business. And the same day, stuff started shifting. Hallelujah. That's a cry. That's a shout. Sometimes you got to be willing to just push it. You already know the devil trying to shut you down. You already know he's trying to sell you. You already know he's trying to make you close your mouth. You already know he's trying to make you just accept stuff. No! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Y
because you're going to stir up a problem. Right. You're not talking to them. Yeah. Nope. This is not a flesh and blood oh. warfare. That's right. You got to talk directly to them spirits. Right. Because they think that they got you down. You are the one that got to let them know. Right. You, are, you don't have me. You don't have me. You don't have me. Can I go a little bit further? Yes, sir. You know, you know, you know, you know, <laughs> Watch this, he says, he says, others too were raging at what he did for them. Theirs was no, there was no cast down look of rejection whatsoever. You shouldn't even look like you've been rejected. Right, 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 right. Yeah, right. Didn't hear me. Yes, yes. You're not even supposed to look like you've been rejected. Right, man. Right. Because you have not been rejected. You're just not confident enough. Right. To know and right, understand right. it already belongs right. to you. Yes. And if you think an all night prayer is going to change it, if you think 50 days of fasting is going to change it, and you're still mad even going through that, you make it worse. Y'all got to come on, y'all got to hear. Glory to God, this poor man cried, six verse, cried to the Lord, and the Lord heard him and saved him. Out of his troubles. I don't care what the trouble is. When you already know that you know that you yes, know. Come on here, Bishop. No, you don't. <laughs> his rock and his yeah. comfort me. Yeah. 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 I be down in the lion's den. I got a pea, seedlet pasta pea. <laughs> yeah. Already yeah. sitting there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Waiting on me. Yeah. They gonna come down and call my name. They gonna yeah. come call your name <laughs> because they thought it was over. Yeah, there's no. nobody that went in this yes, time more than yes, that came yes, out. Now. Come on here, baby. but you turn around and not mad at nobody. No, right. you ain't got no hard feelings at nobody. Right. You turn around and say, "Long live the king." Yes. The prodigal son said within it his self. Right. All right. <laughs> Y'all <Yo>, misleading. <laughs> Come on, baby. See, see, see. What happened? What happened? When she got there, whatever she said happened. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When he headed to the father, mm -hmm. before he could get anything out, it happened. It happened. Right, 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 right. right. Yes, because yes, you don't yes. realize Ooh, when you were 
was saying that. Thank you, God. You weren't talking to your outside. Right, right. Look at this. This is good. This is good. This is good. Mm. Thank God. And now I said, how you thought. Uh oh. You were talking to me. To the outside house. Come on, sir. But you were talking to the Holy Ghost in peace. In Tony Winfrey. Yes, sir. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, sir. Ooh, God. I got it. I got it. I'm about to go. It's all right. It's all right. You, 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 got to, you got to understand that when I don't even go inside of my mouth, mm -hmm. I just said it. In there. Yeah. Yeah. So the Father already got it. Yeah. Before you can say it, before you even get there. Yeah. Yeah. He knew it was pure. Yeah. So the release has already happened. Yes, it has. Amen. 
Because church is hard to get them. You think God wants you here with no identity? No. 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 What's the use of him creating you, bringing you here, and have no identity? Yes, you're supposed to have an identity. I don't care what they tell us. You have an identity. Whether you walk it out or not, you have an identity from God. Whether you receive it or not, you think you just that little mediocre Christian that just go to church, go back home, and remain powerless, and let the devil sleep on them, walk on them, sleep with them, and hang on them, and then suck everything out of them, then okay, that's your fault. But there's the rest of us saying, no Wait. more. No more. <laughs> no, you got to know. If you walk in here, I'm going to tell you who you are. Thank you. From me. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hebrew sure. 2 11, it pleased Jesus to now call us. Right. His big, his brothers and sisters. He's our big brother. Yes, he is. Oh, Bishop, see that? You said you knew the Bible. But <laughs> now you have a problem because I said that. Go read it for yourself. Right. Hebrew 2 11. All day long. It pleased him. Then he turned around and said, We now all have the same flag. Yeah. You're no benefit to him if you're not confident in who you are. Who loves a no confident person? I know Who that. wants to hang with a person that don't have no confidence about himself? Yes. Mm -hmm. I just tell everybody nobody want to be around <laughs> Back at that time. They ain't going to do it today. They, you know, they want to, but I don't mind. I'm getting away for today. <laughs> but back then, I was trying to get people. He had no self-esteem. He's slow. <laughs> Sleepy hollow, always sleeping flat. Go to church a whole night and laughed at it, talked about it. He ain't gonna ever get no more way. Jesus. Oh my God. But then one come door dashing and came to mind. <laughs> Didn't know what was in suit. But he knew my name that day. Winfrey! I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he pulled his glasses off. That's how I recognize him. I'm like, oh. That's you, Winfrey! <laughs> Winfrey! <laughs>